Hey guys, what's up? I'm back and I have a little present for myself. Super excited. But before we go in there, let's do a quick wristwatch check. Today I am wearing my beautiful 1974 Hamilton uh, W10. Uh, I bought this watch a long, long time ago when they were, I mean, they were just giving them away. I think I bought it for like 50 or 75 bucks at the time. And, um, long time ago <laughs> and uh it, it's just I, I just love the way this watch feels it's manual wine so let's see if you can hear it oh, i love the clicking oh, i have never opened it i've never repaired it and it runs beautifully now you know what since i am here let me reach over excuse me and get these guys just in case if anybody's wondering sizes of this guy um the bezel well not the bezel the the uh, oh my gosh what is this the glass is uh, 30 a little over 30 and then the the case itself which i love this case it's just such a it fits so well my, my wrist is 7.5 inches so it fits really well it's about 36 i want to say 36 and lug to lug is roughly about about 42 and of course if you want to put a NATO you can notice this NATO is a little bit too big for this watch I believe it's 19 let me see yeah it's 19 so but imagine I'm a this is a seven point I got a big I got a big hand and this is 7.5 inch wrist and it just it looks right I think uh, what helps a lot is the needle um, strap. It just, uh, this watch is fantastic to the point that I actually have the CWC reproduction of this watch. And um, I, I don't wear this as much. There's a big, there's a crack right here in the crystal. Let's see if you can, you know what? Right here, there's a crack. Let me see if I can get it into the light. There's a crack right there. Let me zoom in on this. Uh -huh, there you can see it. See right there, there's a crack. Uh, I'm just going to leave it as says. I don't wear it when it rains or anything like that. It's, you know, eventually I'm going to have to fix it somehow. I want to keep the original crystal on it, but plastic, I guess, on it. But I might have to replace it. I just need to find somebody that knows how to do it properly so we can put a, a proper one on here. But before I do that, I might just do a little... Uh, super glue action on here. I've done it before with guitars with restoring them. You just have to have it really thinned out the glue and then you just tap it and then it will um, it will just soak right into the cut and then just seal it. I mean the the, the crack and just seal it and then you take a little razor blade with um, scotch tape and then you scrape off the rest. It's it's really not uh, it's pretty easy to do but I'm afraid to do it on this one. I won't do it on, until I get myself another crystal and then I'll have somebody else put it on there just in case if I screw it up. But it's a uh, god it's I love this watch. This watch is gorgeous. I, I really love this cushion. I guess it's called a cushion case. It's fantastic. I mean let's do it again. Oh it feels so good. <laughs> anyway we're here for What's inside the box? Well, I'll give you a hint what's inside the box. Now, as you guys remember, I was... Here, let me move these guys over here. I was looking into... What watch am I going to get my kids? I have a 15, a 14, and a 12-year-old. And as you know, kids nowadays, they don't really take care of the things as much as they should. So I needed a watch that can um, basically withstand... You know, these kids beating the crap out of it, taking showers with nothing to wear, you know, so I wouldn't have to worry. And then after much debate, and of course, TW, 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 hey, I'm thinking about airlines here. Uh, TGV, um, he uh, he mentioned about his, uh, one of his first watches, which he traded at the playground for, I think it was some sort of micro, micro machine set or something like that. I forget what it was, but... It, I don't know who got the better deal. <laughs> I guess micro machines are a better deal because the watch, the watch is pretty inexpensive. But anyway, I went ahead and I got my kids. That's right, the Casio F91W. This watch, you know what? 
it, a it brings back memories it's a it's a great it's a great watch it's it's just uh, it's a fantastic first watch for a kid it really is i mean the size of it is pretty small so we're talking about let me see now let me do it from, from the outside well no let me do it from the outside it's about 33 mils around there 34 mils and then this way it's i mean i don't even know where to measure it from i guess measure it from here and let's do it from out there and that's about 37 and a half but it has a little alarm so my three boys they're so comfortable it's so lightweight and they just love to wear it and they don't take it off well my middle guy takes it off because he does football and uh, my oldest does crew so he doesn't need to take it off and he just has to time when he does uh, you know 2k's or 5k's so he loves it and my little guy who's my mr engineer he um he doesn't take it off either but i bought my two oldest ones this watch and my little guy let's just leave it there my little guy i got him this guy <laughs> and let me tell you he uh he loves it but he doesn't wear it and i asked him i go why are you why are you wearing the f91w uh, because i got the i got him this for his birthday in september and he was like no I, dad i can't wear it because my teacher tells me to put it away when i'm in math class because i'm not allowed to have a calculator so he, um, it was funny, uh, yesterday, he goes, where's my, where's my calculator watch? Somebody stole it. I was like, no, buddy, I took it to, uh, to the studio so for the filming of this, um, of uh, my unboxing of my next watch. So uh, it was funny that he, he really loves his watches, and uh, I guess he's taking after his dad. And uh, he loves his watch, but he only wears this one. So this one, he's, he says, no, Dad, I'll wear it when I go out with you guys and stuff. But I can't wear it in school. I can't wear it in school. Got you, buddy. Don't worry about it. So anyway, obviously, everybody had in my family, everybody, uh, except for my wife, of course, and myself, everybody had a electronic watch. And I was like going, you know what? I feel a little bit left out. Uh, so I went online and I checked out... Uh, you know, TGV's uh, review of uh, the G-Shock, and I said, you know what, I gotta have myself one of those. And of course, I already gave it away. I gave myself, I bought myself a, a G-Shock. But which G-Shock did I get? Let me zoom out of here. So, it is a pseudo unboxing because my son thought that this was his kicking tee, and so he kind of already opened it. But I haven't really looked inside, so here we go. Of course, Casios, they come in a very plain boxing, so that's that's understandable, you know. That's what brings the cost down, and here we go. Nothing else in here, nothing else in there. So, G-Shock, and it's kind of already opened, but I'll hold it closed so you guys can see what, how it comes. It comes in this little G-Shock box. On this side, as you can tell now, oh, it's a GW, I thought it was DW, it's a GWM, no, no, I thought it was DW5610. It says GW. Okay, well, what have you. I, I'm most likely I'm wrong. So let's go ahead and keep going. Let's open this sucker up. So let's see what we got. Oh, Casio G Shock. 200 meter water resistance. That's a fantastic thing because you know what? If I go off on a trip and I go to a country that uh, I would not wear my. Uh, my GMT uh, Steinhardt because it's 500 bucks and I'm afraid somebody will want to take it off me because they think it's a Rolex. Um, this will be a perfect substitute. So it comes with what's this. These are the instructions in Spanish. Awesome. And then uh, instructions in instructions as well. Yeah, instructions in Preferencia, more Spanish. Okay. And. Let's pull her out and she's in this nice little bag. And haha, this is interesting. Okay, and here is, I guess, a war international warranty card. So that's great. One thing I notice is when, here, let me put that up here. When I bought these guys, the F91W uh, and of course the data bank, I had to set the times. And if you look closely, this time is already set. Why? Because, let me zoom in here. Oh, look 
at that. Wow, that is a good looking watch. I didn't think it, wow. I mean, what a great design. And what's funny is that this is, this is basically, it looks like the original, so here's a picture of the original 1983-1984 Casio. I think it was a, the 5000. I think it was called the 5000 at the time. But it still, it has a little red around it, which it kind of makes it pop a little bit. Some people don't like that. I, I kind of like the little red on there. It kind of sort of uh, gives it a three-dimensionality to it. But anyway, I'm sorry, I lost my track because I was just staring at the watch. It's a beautiful watch. Wow, this is pretty cool. Anyway, notice at the time, 1027, 1020cc, see, see my, my Hamilton's keeping good time. It's um, It has a radio frequency where at midnight it reads a, I guess it's a radio frequency signal from an atomic watch here in the United States, and it sets itself to that time every night at midnight. Thus, why the the time is perfect, and it is a 26, so I guess it also sets the date. And it is Thursday, so I guess it also sets the date on that too. Pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. Wow. I am. Pleasing surprise. Let's take it off here. Sorry, sorry. I'm. A <laughs> it's funny, man. When I when I get new things, I just have a tendency to shut my mouth and just stare at things. Now I'm going to put this up to a camera. I'm going to use a camera to read it. So we have ourselves. Oh man, I can't even read what these things say because my eyes are gone. But I'm pretty sure that this is for your, just, just like the other Casio. Yeah, this is to go through, this is world time. What's this? Alarm one, uh, stopwatch, timer. That's the time. So if I go to world time, I believe that I can, from what I saw in the videos, oh, that's your light. Yeah, you can go through all these different times. So let's set it to MIA. See, does it have MIA or is it New York? Hong Kong, Sydney, Anchorage, Alaska, LAX, Denver, Mexico, Chicago, Miami. There's Miami. Sweet. So it's set to Miami time. Well, that's a wall time. Um, and of course, it automatically just set itself. And then there's a, you know what I love about this watch? It has the, the, the countdown timer, which is fantastic because I use that a lot, especially when I'm cooking. And I mean, I'm, I almost don't want to wear it when I'm working out because I don't want to get it scratched, but it's meant for that. So I mean, it's 80 bucks. And how come I never bought this watch before? How can, I mean, I don't, I don't understand. Look at the case back. You know what? Let me open this up. Shock resist. Let me see if I can get out of the glare. There you go. Okay, shock resist. Ah, it's either the glare on the the camera or it's the glare on me looking at it. So excuse me while it gets glared up. Shock resist, shock absorbing. That's great. So pulse weight. I mean. One of the interesting things about this watch is this watch has actually been out to space. And I'm a big space fan, so I'm excited to now own a third watch that is related to space missions. And if I were to go out to space, the odds are this is a watch I would wear. So it's, uh, it's let's see, let's, let's, look, let's go through a couple more functions here. So You know what, let's measure things out first. So let's see. It is 43. Well, that's pretty big. But let's look at it. You know what? Let's look at it from here. Let's look at it from the, I guess you can call it the bezel. The bezel is at 38. And then this guy up and down is at 33. Uh, you know, it's, it's difficult to know where to measure it from this way. The lug to lug. I guess the lug to lug would be right about here. Sorry, guys. I got to put you in camera. And it's about 45 lug to lug. So it's kind of, you know what, let me, sorry, Hammy. I'm going to take you off for a little bit. 
I usually wear my GMT, but today I felt like wearing my hammy. I love my hammy. Let's see how this sucker looks on me. Well, well, well. Uh, let me zoom out here. Seven and, a, seven and a half inch wrist, guys. Okay, so you guys can see I have a pretty big, I have a large hand. So let me go ahead and see how the measuring on putting this sucker on would, would feel. Hmm. I guess I gotta wait for a while to loosen, loosen the, the strap up a little bit. But it's actually, you know, I can see that after a while, I wouldn't even notice that this watch is on my wrist. It's so light. But it's so intuitive. You just, boom, you look at it, 1032. Awesome. Let's go, 1032. I love that. Where's the light? Let me see. I guess that's the light back there, but you can't really. Oh, there it is. Oh, well, it turns it off. Let's see? So, anyway, I wanted to uh, to talk about this watch because, well, I wanted to show you guys. A, it's an unboxing. B, I am really impressed with it. I mean, for 80 bucks, you can't go wrong. You just can't go wrong with this watch. This watch is intuitive. I love the fact that I never have to worry about setting a time. That's awesome. Oh, another thing. This is the solar. So, I mean, I don't know if you can see it. Maybe you can see it in the glare. It's a solar cell underneath here. So, I mean, the batteries are usually rated for uh, 10 years. But with this, if I wear this out in the sun, which that's where I'm going to be wearing most of it, most of the time, I'm not going to be wearing this at night. It's it's going to charge that battery for a lot longer, so the battery life is going to be pretty long. So I'm excited about that. Imagine in, in 10 years, I'll be 60, and this watch will still keep on ticking with the same original battery. That's that's pretty impressive. So um, let's see the band. It's kind of it's kind of stiff, but I, I'm pretty sure it'll. It'll flex up as time goes by. So, you know, for it to kind of sort of curve around my, uh, damn it, I'm sorry, guys, I had it off of camera there. For it to curve around my my wrist, I think uh, it's just going to take time and wearing it, which is fine. Um, I'm just, the alarms. Okay, so possibly, yes, alarms. There's five alarms. So let me see, how do you cycle through the oh, alarm number two, three, four, snooze alarm, which I have no clue. I mean, I know what that means, but I don't, why would I want to snooze? Because the alarm goes, when the alarm goes off on this little guy, it just goes off for like 10 seconds and then you're done. So why would I want to snooze? I don't think so. What's this? SIG. SIG. Where's the instru what the, these are the instructions in English. Say, am I right? Am I right? Yeah, use your guide. These are the instructions in English, and it comes with warranty card. What to do if your watch stops or does not operate normally? Well, everything's working perfectly, so I'm not worried about that. Using atomic timekeeping. So this is like you're supposed to put it on your windowsill at night for it, but I, you know, I wear my watches to sleep, so I think there's enough. <laughs> signals going through my house that it's going to set itself uh, so i really don't know what sig is i'll look it up later on see what that is and i was here right so alarm number one be sending that sucker to 5 15 in the morning and what do i have here again i guess this is on oh that's to turn on the alarm on and off okay cool on and off awesome good to know and then stopwatch that spark is set to zero, just like the, there you go. And then here, the set to zero. Yep, that's it set to zero. And countdown timer, so here, 23 hours. Okay, so let's say I want to choose my own time. I think I, here, hold it down maybe. Yeah, that's it, hold it down. And so I can cycle through this one hour, two hours, three hours. And then I go here again. Let's go to the minutes. Nope, that wasn't it. Okay, so maybe it's up here? No, maybe it's here. There you go, that's it. 
So 59 minutes, let's go to one minute. Let's see what it sounds like, because I think I can talk. So what do I do now? I go here, right? Yes. And then I go here. 59 seconds, okay. So we'll just wait till the alarm goes off so you, can, you guys can hear what it sounds like. And there's a time, uh, let me see. Split reset, it has an arrow pointing this one. Backlight, this is arrow. It says water resist solar. You know what's fantastic about this one? I mean, just a 200 wa meter water resistant. I, I can basically, if the zombie apocalypse happens, this is a watch you want to take with you. <laughs> Not that time is going to matter anyway, because, uh, you know, you're just out for survival. But let's see what else does it have on here. It has receiving over here, and then it has stop start over here, pointing this way. I can't read these guys. That's the only bad thing about getting old, guys, is you, uh, after a while, your eyesight goes, I need to, oh, there you go. That's one minute. You guys hear that? So I'm putting it up to the mic. I'm actually using the mic from, uh, from uh this is this is such a great watch man i'm really excited i'm excited to wear this thing i'm gonna wear it right now because my hammy's getting angry saying hey dude you took me out of the box i've been in the box for god knows how long at least do me the favor and warn me today i will i will mr hammy but when i go work out i shall self-charging self-adjusting let me see oh, it goes like this tight 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 So I'm going to put this sucker back in its box. Oh, I'll put it on backwards. I'm not going to do that. You know what? It's, I think I did it too tight. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. What the hell did I do here? There you go. Okay, let me just go one out. Sorry for being too quiet. I really don't. Okay, so now let's put it back on here. So I just wanted you guys to see the unboxing of this G-Shock. And let me tell you, the box itself and everything is nothing to write home about. But you're getting one hell of a watch for under 100 bucks. You really are. And I would, I mean, I'll give you a, a, you know, a report after wearing it for a long time. But I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have any issues with it. Because my kids are having a blast with this watch. And... They're going to have this watch for a long time since the battery lasts for so long. But, you know, when they do graduate, I'm going to give them a nice watch. But that's going to be their beater watch. I might, I might, I might go as far as getting them each one of this, one of these watches for Christmas. I might just do that for their Christmas present, a G-Shock. I think they're going to like it, especially my, my second, my second kid. He's, um, he's into, you know, the ocean and sports and just going crazy. So a G-Shock. He'll, he'll tear this thing up. So I think the G-Shock might be a good choice for him. Um, and let them start the little watch collection. I think they're going to love it. Anyway, guys, thanks for uh, listening to me ramble on about this uh, G-Shock. And uh, until the next watch.